Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you how to do basic file management in Microsoft OneDrive. So OneDrive is actually a uh, file storage system that is stored in the cloud, which means it's on the internet. So I've opened my uh, browser, my Firefox browser, and I'm just going to bump it up to the top here and let go and that'll make it full screen. That's a little quick tip to use uh, any sort of window in Windows. So um, at the top here I can move along and there's OneDrive in my email here. I'll just click OneDrive so I've already logged into my email and now I'm in OneDrive. So I can create new documents, I can upload documents, and I can do a sync which is a little program that connects it to my personal computer. What I want to actually do is I want to I'm going to pull that down again. I want to replicate what I have in my U Drive. So I'll go to my U Drive and so I have this sort of structure. Uh, so I've got my folder, and I'm just going to keep this. I'll just I want to create a new document or something. So I'm just going to go over new, and it'll say create a new document or folder in this library. So I'll just say create new, and it's going to ask me what I want to create. So it's the same sort of process as I did with this, but this is all on the internet. So I'm going to say new folder, and then I'll say this is Stu's folder. So now I have a folder there, and I just want to make this match up. So I'm just going to go into my folder here, and I will single click on my folder over in OneDrive. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll go New Folder, and I'll call that Pictures. And I need another one, and I'll call that Documents. Oops, and it looks like I spelled that one wrong. So if I want to change something about this, all I need to do is go to Manage, and then I can change the properties here. I'm going to Edit Properties, and the name is right here. So I will go Documents. There we go. And I'll save it. And now it's back to normal. Good. OK, so I'm going to resize this so I have it all. And I think I had in documents, oh I had different folders in documents as well. So I need to go in there and I'll create a docs and I'll create a PDFs. And I think in uh, my pictures folder, let's see, I had animals and then I had my animals within that. So on OneDrive, my breadcrumbs are really big here, so I can see Stu's folder documents. So I'm just going to click on Stu's folder and that'll take me back. So if I go into Pictures, and I go New, and I want Animals here, and I'll go into Animals, and inside Animals I had Rabbits and Tars Ears. Rabbits. And another one, tar, tar sears. So now we've got all of our folders in place. Now we need to move all of our files over there. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go through every folder. And it says there are no files um, in my Tarsier folder. So there's a couple of ways. I'll do this a bunch of different ways so you can see. First, I can upload a document or a file. And then it's going to ask me to browse for that. So then I would need to go over here into my U drive, go all the way down into pictures, animals, tars ears, there we go. And I will open that. And then now I've got it selected here. This is the file that I'm going to upload. And then I would upload that file. Another thing I can do is I can just take this and drag it into the web browser window. See if I drag it over here, it doesn't really do anything, it might not copy, but if I drag it here and drop it, then it'll uh, upload it that way. So it's saying it already exists. I don't want to replace it. I'm just not going to upload it because it's already there. So let's go back and fix this. So I'm going to go animals on my um, U drive side, go rabbits, I'm gonna animals on my OneDrive side, and go rabbits, and I'm just going to click and drag into the browser window, and there's my rabbit. Cool. Okay, so I need to go all the way back. So you'll notice here there's only two levels of my breadcrumb, and there's two levels here. If I make this larger, it only stays at two levels, right? But if I make this one larger, then it'll go back even further. So I'm just going to, I've already uploaded all my pictures, so I'm just going to go into my documents here. 
So unfortunately on this side I need to go animals, then I need to go pictures, then I need to go stews folder, and then into documents. So there we go. So here's my docs, go into my docs. So just remember that anything you're doing on the web you're just clicking once and over here we're clicking twice. So I'm going to click that and drag that over there. And there we go. And I'll go back to documents, go back to documents, go back to PDFs, go to PDFs, and I'll copy. And I'll copy there. So you'll notice I just dropped it outside of that box and nothing uploaded. So be sure to remember to drop it right inside this box here and then it will upload. Okay, so now I'm back to documents, now I'm back to Stu's folder. So now everything that's in my U drive is actually stored on the internet in my OneDrive account. So this means that I can be at home and I can actually go onto a browser at home. I can go onto any browser I want. I can even use my phone. These files are now accessible from anywhere in the world, whereas these files um, in my U drive are really only accessible on BTC's campus. So that's the power of OneDrive is to be able to store your information and have it travel with you wherever you are in the world. Okay? So that's the basics of file management in OneDrive.